Mr. P's Science and Math Podcasts. For more science and math concepts, search me out on iTunes by typing Papa Podcasts. You can contact me at Mr. P. Lieberman at gmail.com. Thank you for watching. Special Products Part 3. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at what we call the difference of two terms. Very similar to the special products part one and part two. In part one, we looked at when a is being added to be all squared, we got the following. a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Whenever we subtracted, we got the same expression. Only difference was here is where it became subtraction. And what we really did here with these two, just to recap, we squared the first term and the second term, and that got us our first and outer terms. Squared this, squared that, first and outer terms. The inner term is a combination of multiplying these two together and then multiplying it by two because there are two of them. Okay. In this lesson, what we're going to be looking at is what happens when we have a plus b multiplied by a minus b. And what we're going to do is we're going to foil this just to show you exactly what the rule implies. So first, then with outer, inner, then with last. And we get the following. a times a, a squared. a times negative b minus ab. Positive b times a, positive ab. b times negative b, negative, or uh, negative b squared. Okay. Now, one thing to keep in mind, as we said in previous lessons before, that whenever we have the first terms are the same and the second terms are the same as one another, that we can simplify this middle term. Notice here now, if we have a negative ab and we're going to add it with the same value, this equals zero, which will finally give us an end result of only a squared minus b squared. In other words, this middle term that we've seen here became zero. Okay, they, they, they somehow subtracted each other out. So let's look at uh, an example here. 2x minus 5, 2x plus 5. According to the FOIL rule, okay, this is what we're going to get. 2x times 2x, 4x squared. 2x times 5 plus 10x. Negative 5 times 2x will give me negative 10x. And negative 5 times positive 5 will give me negative 25. Okay, so what we get here though is if we look at this middle term, positive 10 minus 10x, this becomes 0. And all I'm left with, 4x squared minus 25. I don't have that middle term to worry about. So in other words, whenever we have an example like this, all we do is we tr keep in mind from the FOIL rule, all we have to worry about is the first and then our lasts. Okay, so and, and keep in mind that also the sign always will be negative. So let's uh, look at another example over here. Let's uh, use a different color. So let's have 3x minus. 4 times 3x plus 4. And remember, whenever we have a difference of two terms, one is always going to be negative, the other one's going to be positive. It doesn't matter which order they appear in. So as we said, according to the FOIL rule, all we have to worry about is our firsts. So 3x times 3x 
will give me 9x squared. Then we worry about our last. Negative 4 times positive 4 will give me negative 16. If you want, you can foil the rest of it and do the outer and inner, and you will notice that those inner terms will add up or cancel out to becoming 0.